G'day guys, welcome to part 5 of the 3 Racing Sakura Ultimate Build Series. Part 5 is going to be uh, the assembly of the transmission, I guess you would call it, for a belt driven car. Um, this uh, can be a little bit tricky this part because I, as, I've, as I said, um, if there's going to be multiple of things, um, what I'll do is I'll do some off camera and then do the rest on camera. So as I was doing the front part here, um, with touring cars you have, um, especially on like on the pulleys here, you can see how there's like a little it's like a little cam, and what that does is it uh, moves the like the for instance the diff here back and forth or up and down mainly back and forth and what it does is it adjusts the tension of the belt so if the belt after a period of time starts to loosen up it will um, um, obviously get loose and start skipping teeth so then you would adjust it so it pulls back a bit to tighten it so um, I found uh, what, cause what, how this system works is there's a little notch here that a screw has to go through so um, and where the screw has to go through the um, down stop screw gets in the way so I've had to pull out my one and a half millimeter ball wrench it's a bit of a silly design to be honest but um, so what I will do um, for if for those who don't have all the tools what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these downstop screws out just for this part because this will make it a little bit easier for you So they'll just go over there for the time and I'll put those back in uh, after I've uh, done this part. So now what we'll do is this will be the assembly uh, of basically installing the rear diff, uh, rear belt and the lace shaft because I've already done the front. So what we need to do now is we'll get our belt. When you're doing this take note of the orientation of which side the belt has to go on and we'll install the diff it just slots in and what I'll do is I'll just put it into its initial position and there's like a little little uh, little arrow that points to the hole that has to go through just line it up like that and we get two little screws one and a half millimeter Allen driver or hex driver. Put it in the hole there, and just screw it in. The same thing on the opposite side. not a really good design I must say I mean I, I understand the part that it's to stop the cam from moving but um, all the other ones all the other touring cars I built just have a little notch and the uh, bulkhead here has little notches that the cam sits in and then once you put the top deck on it pushes down so the cam won't move which I think is a better idea but this is how 3 Racing have done theirs Alright, so now what we need to do is we need two small part, plastic parts here and these are for the low shaft. Now on the low shaft here you'll see that there's like a little flat spot. Well this plastic part here has that flat spot for it to sit in. 
So it just sits in like that. And what we'll do is we'll get our pulley, put the belt in, and it just slides in. Like a glove. Alright. So now what we do is we get our let's have the right right tool. So that just screws in. Before we do that, I am getting ahead of myself. We need the other belt because then it'll only be two wheel drive. Now this is a pain in the butt part with belt drives. Just got to get it just right. And it just slides in. And you want to do it reasonably tight. So, so what we do, same thing again, opposite side. All right, now we need our 1.5 millimeter driver. And this part screws in. to the metal. You won't need a uh, thread lock for this part because it's going on to plastic. Uh, the plastic will act like a bit of a washer. Of course, this part here is going to fight me, isn't it? Excuse me a sec, folks. It just refuses to budge. Ah, oh, there we go. So just when you do it, get it done, just spin it, make sure that there's nothing catching, which there isn't, and there you have it folks. So just a uh, close up, the belt system goes in just like that. So that is part five, part six will be the steering system. So stay tuned for that one folks.